This is a demonstration on how to set up a vacuum assembly. A vacuum assembly is very important when we're filtering. We don't want to have to wait around for hours and hours for gravity to filter water through a filter. So what we'll do is we'll force the liquid through using a vacuum assembly. The vacuum assembly will need a filter. So we're going to use this filter. The problem with usually the filter and the filter paper don't um, fit each other. So what we'll do first is accurately cut this piece of filter paper to fit inside here. The best thing for you to do is to fold the filter paper in half and then into quarters and then into an eighth. That way your cut is very simple. You cut right along the edge. Just from experience, I don't think that's quite enough. There we go. And what we're looking for is a piece of filter paper that will cover all of those holes in our filter. Excellent. An important step here is to wet the filter paper with water, deionized water. So we'll wet the filter paper, put it down my filter paper. It's important to take a glass stirring rod and make sure that there are no bumps or crinkles in our filter paper. What the paper does is forms a seal over all of these holes. That way nothing slides past the paper. Next we'll fit our rubber stopper to our Erlenmeyer flask. The Erlenmeyer flask is a little different than the ones we've seen before. There's an outlet valve here. I placed it in this assembly to hold this down because this whole thing is kind of heavy and we'll get the Erlenmeyer flask tipping over. So using this ring stand to hold the uh, flask down is going to be helpful to us. What we're going to want to do is uh, take a piece of rubber tubing and attach it to our flask. And then we're going to attach the other to a sink. Not just any sink, but a sink that has a side nozzle on it. So we will be not attaching here, we will be attaching to this horizontal portion. And then to force fluid, fluid through, we simply turn the sink on. And you can see water dripping through here. Let me turn this off and we'll try with a colored solution. The solution I have here is simply food coloring and water. When I place it into the filter, we see nothing coming through. No dripping at all. Now just very slight dripping, not very much. But when I turn on my sink, the fluid flows freely and our solution is filtered in seconds instead of minutes 